Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your February reading. Happy birthday to all of the Aquarius suns out there. <clears throat> and really all of you Aquarius risings as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my youngest son is an Aquarius rising. And so I know that the sun hitting his rising sign is going to really bring out that personality for you guys during this time. We're doing this reading on the day of the new moon. So the Aquarius new moon is actually happening in about an hour. Um, yeah, like I, cause I'm doing this like right around 1 PM mountain time. And I think it's like 1 30 something PM mountain time. So, um, yeah, we've got the new moon energy working for us. Um, because I'm just getting started with doing readings again, I don't want to over complicate my energy. So we're going to kind of make this a short, but to the point kind of reading, we're going to start with a power of surrender cards. I've been working with these Oracle cards quite a bit. Um, if you miss your six month reading, I did do all of the signs for their January to June six month readings. So make sure you catch that one as well. I'll put the link to the playlist in the description box, um, or I'll actually just link it in the video. Um, and uh, so you guys can hit that as well and kind of get an idea of where everything's going for you for February. So let's see, for Aquarius birthday, your surrender, oh, I love this for you guys, surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. I've also got the new moon video up for you guys, so make sure you take a look at that as well. Okay, let's get, we're going to just start with three cards. And then we'll clarify as needed, or actually we'll just start with as many cards as they want us to start with. My intention is to start with three cards, but sometimes spirit's like, no, no, there's more, there's more. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, I love this. It feels like your energy is moving forward, but you really have to be able to look at the perspective of it. Because you are moving from rough waters into calmer waters. And I do think in February, there's going to be some more momentum after a time of stagnancy, of great stagnancy that's been going in. Like some part of your life has become stagnant. Um, and February, and really maybe even with, with this new moon, there could be a lot of different changes that are coming. So we have the eight of wands. We have the six of swords and we have the hanged man. Nice. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces energy as well, but if you are dealing with a Pisces energy, I feel like you're moving away from it. I feel like things are getting easier by moving away from that Pisces energy, but this feels like there's going to be some kind of communication that's going to make your life easier. You're moving from rough waters into calmer waters. And I think that you've been waiting <laughs> on this, like the, uh, there's some kind of contact, like you might get an email, you might get a text message, you could get a phone call, something like that is going to be happening in February and it's going to help, but it's almost like you're getting this information and then you have to wait for a minute. You have to pause for a minute. So I want you to pay attention to your expectations of any kind of information that might be coming in for you, because it's not always going to be like that um, super big uh, like, how do I want to put this? You may think that like, oh my gosh, everything is going to change and everything is going to be awesome. And everything is going to, you know, like everything is just going to change overnight. Um, or it's like, like the pod, just it, watch your expectations of how the 
how the information and everything is going to come in. Cause I think that you're going to get some kind of information and it's going to be really positive for you. And it's going to move you into a new direction, but you're going to still have to be patient to get there. Okay. So we have the eight, we have the queen of cups on the eight of wands. For some of you, you have Pisces energy um, in your charts. Um, or for some of you, you are dealing with a Pisces or you're getting information, some kind of information from a water sign or a Pisces here. Um, for those of you who have Saturn and Pisces or Saturn and Pisces or any kind of Pisces placements in your chart, I do have the Saturn and Pisces reading available. So you can see how Saturn in Pisces is going to uh, affect you that Saturn is moving into Pisces on March 7th. And I'll be talking about that a little bit more in the Pisces reading as well, because they're really preparing for it right now quite a bit. But we have the Queen of Cups on the Eight of Wands. So whatever information that's coming in, I feel like it's coming from a water sign or it's coming from somebody like you intuitively already knew this energy could totally be you. And you intuitively already knew um, that you were going to hear from someone or you were going to hear from something. <laughs> you were going to hear information. Um, some of it has to do with work. Some of it has to do with um, getting together with your friends or some kind of celebration but um, it feels like what you're moving away from is monotony. It feels like there's this, uh, like if you've been grinding away at doing something and it's been like the same kind of energy every single day over and over and over again, um, with the eight of pentacles, the three of cups and the six of swords. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't read the three of cups like a third party situation like a lot of other readers do. I read the three of cups as you and I coming together and then making a third energy, which is source energy, right? So this is about coming together with people who are like-minded, coming together with people you resonate with, and you're creating something new out of this celebration or out of this coming together kind of thing. And to get and see, here's the thing is it's making life easier for you. You may just recognize that as you stay focused on your goals and the things that you're doing and the direction that you're going on, life seems to kind of let up on you a little bit. And then we have, I love this, the magician. <laughs> this is like the epitome. The magician on the hanged man is like the epitome of saying, if you just sit with yourself and stay patient and allow yourself to see things from a different perspective, like that's what the hanged man is here for. He's seeing things from an enlightened point of view. He's seeing things from um, a station in life where it's like <clears throat> nobody else is really seeing that same sort of perspective, right? And allowing like, magic happens even when you're standing still. If you're feeling stagnant or you've like gotten the information and things are starting to get a little bit easier in your life and then all of a sudden you're told to pause, like now we have to wait. This is why. Because with the magician's energy, the things are happening around you. And you have created the atmosphere for it to happen. And this shows the alignment that you're in, right? And a lot of times we pop out of our alignment when we get frustrated about things not showing up in the time frame that we want them to show up. We get popped out of our alignment and we like, it turns into fear. It's like this fear-based kind, it's the fear-based programming. Oh my gosh, if I'm not doing, if I, you know, um, if I change my mind on this relationship, if I decide I want to get another job, if it's, you know, like whatever it is that's happening in your life, if it's time for me to move, like this doesn't tell me anything specific that's happening, but it does feel like there's this push forward that's like this momentum that's pushing you forward in February and it can, it's really going to like boost things for you moving forward. But at the same time, it's going to tell you that 
like you don't really have a whole bunch that you have to do now. You've done all of the work. You know, you've done your part. Let's put it that way. It's not even work. You've done your part. You've placed yourself in the position that you need to be in in order for things to get moving again. Because I know it's been a long time of stagnancy. There's been a lot, a lot, a lot of stagnancy. And literally, you guys, this is you surrendering. This hanged man and ma magician is you surrendering to the magic of who you are. Let me read this to you again. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay. So allow yourself to be open to information or answers coming to you that you've been waiting for. Stay open for it. Stay focused. This eight of pentacles is like focus, focus, focus. It's the sun in Virgo. And sometimes being focused can be really, really monotonous. Um, but, you know, really staying focused and be, stay in your happiness and surround yourself with people that really resonate with you. I love you guys. If you want to get a solar return from me, my schedule is open. I think I might have like one or two more spots in January, but if you want to get a solar return from me for February, that's I, my schedule is open. I also have the Saturn in Pisces reading. I have a regular tarot readings as well that are available. Um, my website, I'll put it in the description box. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Glad to be back. Bye.